Lockheed Martin has deepened its engagement with Portugal's aerospace and defense sector by entering into a Memorandum of Understanding, MAU, with AED Cluster Portugal. This organization, comprising more than 140 entities spanning aviation, space, and defense, is now set to explore opportunities for Portuguese industry to contribute to the global F-35 fighter jet program, should Portugal reconsider its defense procurement strategy. Portugal had originally outlined plans to procure 27 F-35A Lightning II aircraft as part of its ambitious Air Force 5.3 modernization effort. The estimated budget of 5.5 billion euros was to cover not just the aircraft, but also the essential training, logistics, and infrastructure upgrades. However, the deal remains in political limbo. Under the new agreement, AED Cluster will help pinpoint domestic firms that could play a role in various aspects of the F-35 ecosystem, including assembly, technological research, system maintenance, and training operations. The U.S. Embassy in Lisbon hailed the MAO as a promising step forward, emphasizing the potential for Portugal's industrial base to integrate into advanced aerospace initiatives and grow its defense capabilities. This initiative signals a shift from previous, more cautious approaches to Portugal's next-gen fighter procurement. The country's Air Force currently operates 28 F-16s, 24 upgraded F-16AMs and 4 F-16BMs, originally acquired in the 1990s. Although extensively modernized under the Midlife Update program, these fourth-generation aircraft lack the stealth and systems integration required to remain effective against modern threats and advanced air defense networks. The F-35 Lightning II, meanwhile, represents a leap in air combat technology. It merges radar-evading design with cutting-edge sensors such as the N-APG-81 AESA radar and electro-optical targeting system. The distributed aperture system gives pilots a seamless 360-degree view, enhancing battlefield awareness. Furthermore, its secure data sharing and joint force interoperability enable it to dominate complex, contested environments. With the powerful F-135 engine and options for stavel configurations, the jet is built for versatility, whether striking ground targets, conducting reconnaissance, or leading electronic warfare operations. Transitioning from the F-16 to the F-35 would reflect Lisbon's broader strategy to remain operationally in sync with NATO and ensure readiness for emerging threats. While the F-16 remains viable in many scenarios, it falls short in high-intensity conflict zones where stealth and sensor fusion are crucial. Lockheed Martin's agreement with AED suggests a long-term vision. Even if Portugal's political establishment has not formally greenlit the F-35 acquisition, the groundwork is now being laid for deeper industrial and technological collaboration. This move may also boost Portugal's standing within the NATO alliance, offering greater operational synergy with allies and an upgraded national defense posture. Ultimately, while the timeline for a formal F-35 purchase remains uncertain, Lockheed Martin's proactive engagement has positioned Portugal for a future where participation in next-generation defense programs is no longer speculative but strategically inevitable.